Hey everyone, Madeline here and welcome to my art channel. Today's video is going to have three drawings and they are all different Disney princesses as how I imagine them in comic books. One of my main things that I really wanted to accomplish with this was to really capture the essence of each Disney princess and translate it into a different drawing form. Usually Disney has really cute uh, big eyes over their princesses and big flowing hair. And I actually wanted to keep the big flowing hair because I think that's a really nice feature, especially in like, you know, the comic books, like you can see, um, a lot of the female characters their hair is a little exaggerated not as much in volume as it is with Disney but I do like the idea of exaggerating the hair and keeping in with that so my first painting was Elsa and I didn't really have a lot of trouble coming up with an idea for her when I started coming up with this concept she was the first one that popped in my head and a lot of what I was thinking really channeled storm from x-men which is one of the reasons why i left elsa's eyes blank but i also wanted to leave elsa's eyes blank because her emotions really came out from her magic so i wanted to keep that as the focus of uh, this drawing or painting rather and what i wanted to do was to make sure that she showed that her Emotions and strength were coming from her magic and not from her eyes. The, her eyes were not going to be the focus of this painting. And at first, I really didn't even want to use painting at all. I wanted to use markers. But after going through my markers and realizing the characters that I needed to color, I realized that I was running extremely low on all my skin tones and that I did not have uh, a lot of different types of blues especially for Elsa and I didn't want to just pick a random blue I wanted to keep the colors the same and really use the original outfit ideas as inspiration for the comic book character ideas For the painting of Merida, I really wanted to kind of go a little bit opposite of how she was portrayed in the movie. So in the movie, she's um, rebellious and she's strong and she's smart, um, but she was really fighting a lot of things externally. And what I wanted to do was to harness her strength and her cleverness and her ability with to shoot the bow um, and use that in this comic book character illustration of her. That way it showed her better qualities. It didn't show her being as 
young, I guess, as she kind of comes across as in the movie. I wanted her to show a lot of strength and I wanted her to do that physically in her appearance. So I did go, I stayed with the color scheme as uh, well with her and I didn't want to really change too much. I didn't want it to be something that it would not be and I really wanted to keep in with the subtlety of her always being out in the woods and she's not really needing a whole lot of flash and flair when it comes to her outfit. She just needed something that's going to be practical for who she is naturally. I added in the little half scarf on her belt to kind of pull from her um, the princess, the formal dress that she has on in the movie. And I wanted to use the gold to kind of help with the plaid and, you know, kind of pull all that together a little bit. And I really, really love the way her boots came out. Although I don't know how comfortable that would be running in. But she did come out the way I wanted her to, especially her hair. Like her hair I was kind of nervous about doing for a while, especially I was nervous for inking it because I'm not used to inking curly hair at all. I'm used to just inking um, straight hair or even wavy hair because that's a lot easier to manage than this wild and crazy mane that she has. But it does fit with her character. I needed that to stay with her character because she is, she's a bold type of person. So it needs to stay that way with her. But overall, I was really happy with how this one came out. I did have to come back after completing these three drawings because I felt like something was missing from Merida's picture. And when I came back, I added in the wisp in the background behind her. I didn't want it to be too overbearing. I just wanted it to be there as part of like a magical element that's in the picture with her. When I was mixing the paint for Moana's skin, I was really nervous to make it too dark because her hair is really dark. Um, in the movie, it was like a really deep dark brown, almost black. And what I didn't want to do was to have everything kind of flow together as far as her skin color and her hair color. So I started off a lot lighter than I should have. And then over time, I mixed it and I darkened her skin and it came out way better than I was ever hoping for. I did not like how streaky it looked for a while, but that was more on the paper rather than the color or even my brushes. Um, the watercolor paper I had used was actually some watercolor paper I had found and I didn't realize I had it. So I really didn't want that to go to waste. So I decided to use that for these paintings since I wasn't able to use my marker paper. One of my favorite things about painting Moana, or even sketching Moana actually, was having her outfit and her hair flow like it was in the wind, because that really plays in with where she comes from and her background, and especially her as a character, because she is a voyager, so she's always going to be out to sea. There's always gonna be wind in her hair, and she's always in charge. And a big part of me was really struggling with the paddle because I wanted to make the paddle into something a little bit different. Maybe something that had a little bit more meaning. But after a while, I just realized that it needs to come from her as the character. So I left the paddle there because that's part of who she is for sure. And I wanted to have the heart of Tafiti there um, in her hand to also add in a magical element just like the other two pictures. While I was painting Moana I really debated on whether adding 
am adding in a lot of designs to her skirt, kind of pulling from how Maui has a bunch of the tattoos. But I really wanted to keep it simple. You know, in my opinion, a lot of the comic books that you see or that I read personally have just simple and straightforward designs with their outfits. So there's not a lot taking away. It's about the story. It's about the character. So I really wanted to keep in with that theme of focusing more on her and what her story is. So I really, I really did enjoy doing these drawings and I hope you guys did too. And one of the best things about drawing Moana was using the gold paint pen and using the gold in her hair. So it would kind of make her gold, her hair stand out a little bit like she is out in the sun often and I really loved adding that in. Here are the finished pieces. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks guys so much for watching. Bye.